Hello, awesome algebra students. Today we're going to continue on with solving equations that have absolute value in them. So here are just some review problems, very similar to what you did yesterday. Remember, when we have absolute value, it's talking about the distance away from zero. So this stuff, this x minus 4, that's saying that it's 6 units away from zero or from the center of your, your problem that you're working on. So I'm going to have x minus 4. Since it's a distance of 6, it could be going positive 6, or x minus 4 could be equal to negative 6. So again, the stuff that's inside the absolute value, it's either equal to 6 or negative 6 because then the absolute value would give me 6. Solving this shouldn't be very difficult at this point. We'll get that x equals 10. Either way, we're solving the problem the exact same way, but we're not getting opposites for answers. So 10 and negative 2, both of those answers work, because if I put a 10 in for the x, I would have 10 minus 4. That's 6, and the absolute value of that is 6. If I put in negative 2, negative 2 minus 4, or plus a negative 4, well, that's negative 6, and the absolute value of negative 6 is Six, so it works for both of those answers. And then B is the kind where they're trying to trick you. This absolute value, remember it's a distance away from zero. I can't have a negative distance. If it's equal to a negative number, when the absolute value is all by itself, that's just a no solution. That one won't work. Just a couple of quick warm-up problems then to remind you about this. Um, absolute value, so this is really like an 82 right here, positive 82, and this is a positive 57, and 82 is bigger than 57. In number three, these are both negatives to start with, but when I do the absolute value, I would have a positive 70 and a positive 91, and 91 is bigger than 70, so 70 is less than 91. And the other problems, there's nothing super tricky. Number six should look familiar, but we're just going to move on. So this is really very much like what you did yesterday. In number one, this is just saying the absolute value of x equals 7. I want to know what number is 7 units away from 0. So I would write x, stuff in absolute value, equals 7. Or, that stuff in absolute value, x equals negative 7. Now, because there's nothing with the x, this problem's done. You're done right there, 7, negative 7. Sometimes we do get opposites like that. Not real often, but it does happen. Again, number two, they're trying to trick you. Absolute value can't be equal to a negative. No solution. And then number three. That absolute value is 10 units away from the center. So I'm going to have x minus 3 equals 10. Or x minus 3 equals negative 10. To solve this, we're just adding 3, which gives me 13 on this one. And over here, I get that x equals negative 7. And again, feel free to substitute those in. 13 plus 3 is, ah, I did the problem wrong. This is supposed to be addition. We're going to just pretend that didn't happen because I never make mistakes. Yeah, right. This was supposed to be x plus 3. I'm so glad I checked that because it was totally wrong. x plus 3 again. So really fast, speed writing this time. I'm going to get that x equals 7. That's better. And subtract 3. And I will get that x equals negative 13. So if I put the 7 in there, 7 plus 3 is 10, absolute value is 10. If I put the negative 13 in there, negative 13 plus 3 is negative 10, but then the absolute value is 10. This is new. These I want you to write down in your notebook, and if I go too quickly, feel free to pause the video and write it down. But everyone should be writing down these problems because this is new stuff. This is not the same as yesterday. The problem that we're looking at now is that there's more stuff with my absolute value. 
So in number three, I have to get the absolute value part by itself. Consider that absolute value, like this stuff in here. Pretend that that's all just one giant variable. Like this is negative four X. I want that X, I want that absolute value all by itself. You cannot ever, 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 ever distribute into absolute value. So I have to get rid of multiplying by negative four. So I would do that by dividing by negative four. And I know that that gives me a fraction. That's not a concern. What is a concern is that 14 divided by negative four, that would be a negative seven over two if I would simplify it. But um, absolute value can't be equal to a negative. Right there, that makes it not possible. No solution. So in number five, again, consider this absolute value part one big variable, okay? You could even think it was just one giant X right there, okay? I need to get that absolute value part by itself. So if this was just three X plus 10, I'd get rid of the 10 first. So we would subtract 10. So I have three times my absolute value is 27. And then again, we never, ever, 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 ever distribute into, into uh, an absolute value. So I'm going to divide by 3 to get rid of it. So I will have this absolute value, 2x plus 5, equals 9. All of that work was just so that I could get to where I can write my two equations. Because now the absolute value is all by itself. I'm going to switch colors so you can see what's going on here. Now, this is where I'm going to get my two separate equations. I'm going to get that 2x plus 5 equals 9, and 2x plus 5 equals negative 9. Kind of a goofy looking 9, sorry. So we'll subtract 5. 2x equals 4, and x is 2 in the second equation from the same problem. Same exact steps, but negative nine plus a negative five is a negative 14. So I have two X equals negative 14. And then we're gonna divide by two and I get that X equals negative seven. So two and negative seven are both solutions for this problem. And you could go back into the original problem and substitute in to make sure that they work. In the first problem here, again, I have to get the absolute value by itself. If you write your two equations right now, if you wrote the absolute value of x minus 2, or just x minus 2 plus 5 equals 9, and x minus 2 plus 5 equals negative 9, you'll get one of the answers right, and you will get one of the answers wrong. And 50% is not good enough for us. So we're going to get the absolute value by itself. We're going to subtract the 5. So I have my absolute value equals 4. And now my two equations. Now I did this on the last problem and I can do it on as many as you feel comfortable with. If that helps you to remember you need to write two equations, go right ahead and do that. x minus 2 equals 4. x minus 2 equals negative 4. So we would add 2. x equals 6. x equals negative 2. So 6 and negative 2 both work. If you would substitute this in, if you put the 6 in right here, 6 minus 2 is 4. The absolute value is 4 plus 5 is 9. It's work. It works. Negative 2 minus 2 or plus a negative 2 would be negative 4, but the absolute value is still 4 plus 5 is 9. They work. Some people get tricked on a problem like the second one, and they think it's going to be a no solution please remember that you have to get the absolute value by itself before you can make that decision. So I would have to start by adding 10. So I've got my absolute value equals 6. That will work. I can write my two problems. So 3x plus 9 equals 6 and 3x plus 9 equals negative 6. Remember, you can pause it, but I'm going to do my speed writing now.
So the first answer is going to be negative 1. Negative 6 and negative 9 is negative 15. And divide by 3. And we get that x equals negative 5. So negative 1 and negative 5. If it happened to be that we had both negative answers in this one, that can certainly happen. I'm going to skip over this first one. The only thing you'd have to remember is you have to divide by the 4 before you get started on the actual problem. Okay, I'm more concerned about the second problem, getting the absolute value by itself. So I would start by add the 3. So negative 2 times my absolute value of 5x minus 1 equals negative 8. And then divide by negative 2 because we never, ever, 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 ever distribute it to absolute value. When I get the absolute value by itself, it's positive. So at the very beginning, it started with a negative 11. Might look like it might be a no solution. And then we move the 3, still a negative 8. Might be a no solution. Mm, now it's positive 4. Not a no solution. So to finish this problem, here are my two equations. 5x minus 1 equals 4. 5x minus 1 equals negative 4. So I've got 5x equals 5 and x is 1. Over here, 5x equals negative 3 and divide by 5. I know that some of you see that and you're going to freak out and think you did something wrong and you didn't. That's just negative 3 fifths. Or if you just took out your calculator and you divided, you'd get negative 0.6, which is fine. I'm good with the fraction because fractions are your friends. Your practice problems today. 